Hi everyone, welcome to another Rubber Dance Design Team tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a card using the stamp set Hot Hot Hot. You can get your stamps from rubberdance.com and I'll leave the link down below. This really is a fun set of stamps and as I said before it's called Hot Hot Hot. It's full of chilli peppers, from big chilli peppers to small chilli peppers and lots of lovely spicy sayings for you to use and it's those sayings that I'm really featuring on this card. I love them all and I've made this collage and I'm going to show you how to do that. So on the face of it this card looks quite simple but it actually features two fun techniques, sort of a taster session of stamp positioning and also of masking in order to achieve this look. So a quick look at this lovely stamp set and you can see you get chilies of all shapes and sizes, some of them filled in, some of them outlines and some of them squiggly and I love all those spicy sayings and I know you're going to have lots of fun designing cards using this stamp set. Begin by making your word collage. So I've glued all my word stamps onto an acrylic block. So I started out with an acrylic block that measures four by three inches. You could do it on a larger block if you wish and just group together everything in the center of the block. So in centimeters, that's 10 by eight centimeters. And the other thing to do is make sure that your word stamps are all the same way around, that you haven't got anything upside down. So definitely have a little test stamp before you begin. I'm going to test my stamps on this little piece of scrap card, um, inking up and making sure that I catch all of those individual stamps. And I have in effect created one large stamp by collaging the phrases together like this. So I definitely think that you need to stand up to press down on your stamp. Sorry about the shake on the camera. I'm giving it lots of pressure. Make sure that you press on each of those individual word stamps. I've also got my piece of foam underneath to to give a little bit of cushioning as my stamps are unmounted and there we have it. So just making sure that all my stamps are the right way around, just having a little play, getting a feel for how much pressure I need to put on the stamp to get a lovely clean image once I get going on my card. So like I said, I have created a large stamp by doing this, therefore you need that little bit of extra cushioning. Should I use each of these phrases on their own? then I would find that I didn't need the cushioning underneath the stamps. So in this stamp set there are several chilies that come as a pair. They have one filled in um, stamp which is the first stamp that we're going to use and there is one which forms the outline. So I'm going to be using my red distress ink which is festive berries to stamp a red chili. So make sure that you ink up the stamp well with your red ink, whichever ink you decide to use, and position your stamp or your chilli in the bottom right hand corner of your card. And this will give us our red chilli ready to stamp the outline on top of. So as you can see it gives a lovely filled in image. Now we need to use a stamp positioner in order to line up the lined chilli or the outlined chilli on top of our red chilli. So just getting rid of any red ink, ready to begin and use the stamp positioner. Next you need to use your stamp positioner or if you haven't got one like me you can make your own. So I've got a piece of acrylic in the form of this acrylic tag and a little L shaped piece of Lego that I've built from some of my son's old Lego bricks. So I show you how to do this on another video so I'll leave you the link to that uh, at the end of this video if you want to make one of your own. So you need to nestle your acrylic tag right into the corner of the Lego and you also need to nestle your acrylic stamp block into that L shape and press down. It's this little image that's going to allow you to line up your chili stamp right on top of your red chili. So I'm going to put my tag so that the image is over my red chili and when I'm happy with the positioning I'm going to hold that little piece of Lego against the um, piece of acrylic and I can re remove the acrylic and then I'm ready to stamp with my chili stamp. So you do need to be a little bit dexterous in order to do this as you can see. Uh, so I'm inking up my stamp with one hand and holding onto the L-shaped piece of Lego with the other and then again before you press down nestle that acrylic block into your piece of Lego and push down. At this point you can let go of your Lego 
and you should be able to lift up your stamp and reveal a perfectly outlined chili. Phew! So that is technique number one uh, finished, which was uh, using a stamp positioner. And now I'm going to show you technique number two, which is to create a mask so that we can layer up all that lovely um, wording across the back of the chili so that the chili remains in the foreground. So use a post-it note in order to do this and make sure that your chili is along that sticky strip and then you're going to cut out your outline of your chili to create a mask. So as I carefully cut around that and it's definitely worth cutting your image out very carefully because you can save it for later on should you need to use this mask again. Don't throw it away, keep it with your stamps. So I'm going to cut out my chili and tell you a little bit about the sizes for this card. So as usual I will give you all the dimensions for these cards in a cutting guide over on my blog and the link to that will be at the end of this video but I will tell you the dimensions as we go along and all my rubber dance design team tutorials um, have measurements given in inches and in centimeters so the piece of card that I'm working on at the moment is a white smooth card and it measures four and three quarters of an inch square or 12 centimeters square and you will be actually cutting two of these one for the outside of the card and one for the inside so carefully carefully cut out your chili don't cut off the stalk uh, because you might need that on another card and um, it doesn't really matter so much on this one but it's always best to to make your mask as accurate as possible just in case you need all the details on a, another project so in then you're going to position your mask right on top of your chili. Take a little while to do this, make sure that everything is lined up and then press down on your post-it note and it will stay in position. Then make sure that your piece of cardstock is on top of your foam if you're using foam to stamp onto and then ink up your stamp really well. So it's probably better I'm just uh, thinking this through myself, to have your stamp positioned on your table and then tap your ink pad all over the words on your little collage. Just make sure you hit every single one of those little stamps. And then you're going to, I like to stand up for this because I get a little bit better pressure on top of my stamp pad. So please excuse my fringe. And I'm gonna stamp in the bottom right hand corner first and then build up from there. So I really am taking the time to press down really well on top of that stamp. So each time you do this, uh, you definitely don't want to make a mistake at this point. So your first image is stamped right over your mask and then you're gonna re-ink your stamp and come back in to fill in the rest of your square of white card. Be careful that you don't get ink on your fingers because the last thing that you want when you've done all this hard work is to put a nice smudge on your cardstock. So lining up my stamps with the previous image and then pressing down really well. So as I said before, I'm stamping with a navy blue archival ink because I've decided that this card has a red, white and blue colour scheme just to make a real feature of that lovely red shiny chili. Really take your time when you're doing this, make sure that your stamp is inked up really well, make sure that you've caught every single one of the stamps, that your fingers don't have any ink on them and that when you position the stamp you press down really well all over the stamp, applying pressure to each one of those little word strips to ensure that you get a lovely crisp image. And then I've got one more little uh, stamp to do in the top left hand corner. I still like to ink up all my stamp because I don't want to just guess and then have a little bit of the stamp that wasn't quite inked enough and uh, have a light area on my stamp right at this last minute so it doesn't matter if you get the ink onto your little piece of foam because that will wipe off. So here's our background all nicely stamped and it's time to take off the mask and reveal that gorgeous red chilli pepper. So remember what I said about that little mask that you've created, particularly if it's a really fussy cut mask, make sure you just keep hold of it and place it somewhere where you know where to find it and I just pop it in the pocket with my stamps. So now it's time to frame this lovingly stamped 
panel and you're going to do that by layering it up onto a piece of navy blue cardstock that measures four and seven eighths of an inch square and in centimeters that's approximately 12 and a half centimeters square so I'm using PVA glue to make up my card but you could just as easily be using double-sided tape so just make sure it's right in that middle right in the middle of that very fine frame and then again using PVA or double-sided tape you're going to attach that centrally on the front of your red card so now if you look at this design you could quite easily do this with a yellow or an orange or a green chili pepper and just switch out that red card for a piece of card to match the colour of your chili. Another two pieces of cardstock exactly the same size as those on the front, four and three quarter inches square for the white card and four and seven eighths of an inch for the navy blue card. I'm going to show you how to rearrange the stamps to create a word border for this little panel that's going to go on the inside of the card. So the centimetre measurements are 12 centimetres square for the white card stock and 12 and a half centimetres square for the navy blue. And now I'm using my acrylic block. This one's slightly larger because I want it to go right across the bottom of the card. And I'm just picking out some of my sentiments so that I get a word strip that is just slightly longer than the width of my card stock. And once I'm happy that I've got a nice straight row of stamps, I'm ready to begin stamping. We're using exactly the same techniques, but just on a smaller scale. So just cleaning up my hands before I begin, and we're going to take the smallest of the chili peppers, and we're going to stamp that in the bottom right-hand corner of the card. And then we want the outline stamp and exactly as we did before we're going to use our stamp positioner. So first nestle your piece of acrylic against your stamp positioner, push your acrylic block into that L-shaped piece of Lego and then stamp your little outline of your chilli. Line it up against your red chilli move in with the little piece of Lego or stamp positioner. When you're happy that they're all lined up, remove the piece of acetate, nestle your stamp right into that piece of Lego and push down. And then you should have a lovely outline on top of your chili. So the next step is to make your little chili mask. Again, stamping in the area of that sticky strip on your post-it and carefully cutting out your little chili. Place the mask over the little red chilli in the bottom right hand corner. Make sure that if you're using a piece of foam underneath your stamping area that it runs across the width of your card so that you don't get any uh, uneven pressure and then stamp that border stamp right across your card. And then when you do the second stamping to create a stripe of text across the bottom of your card just slightly stagger it and move it slightly to the right and you can remove that little chilli mask, make sure you keep it with your stamps because that one's easy to lose and you're ready to attach the inner to the centre of your card. So only two inks used in this card. The coloured ink was Festive Berries Distress Ink, could equally be a yellow, an orange or a green and the archival ink was Cobalt and you could use a black and uh, change the blue frame for a black if you wanted to. So now I'm ready to attach this panel to the centre of my card. Again, you can use double-sided tape if you want to. Position the panel on top of the navy blue card first and then on the inside of your card. So everything's lined up in the centre. Now it's time to just emphasise that lovely chilli pepper even more by giving it a generous coating of glossy accents. For anyone that doesn't know, glossy accents is a kind of varnish. It dries raised and it dries very shiny, a bit like glass and uh, it is a lovely finishing touch over a stamped image. So I've just flooded the image with glossy accents and once that's dry I'll do the same on the little chilli pepper that's in the middle of the card. 
One final finishing touch is to add a little bit of ribbon to the left hand edge of the cardstock and I'm just taking a strip of navy blue ribbon and a red polka dot ribbon and I'm just going to tie them very carefully because my glossy accent isn't dry yet. I would definitely recommend you wait until yours is and then I'm just tying it in a little knot and then trimming the ends of the ribbon. So pulling it nice and tight and then just trimming the red ribbon just slightly shorter than the blue ribbon. Just twisting the ribbon slightly so that they sit nicely on the card. Now the other thing that I just wanted to do is make sure that that ribbon wasn't going to uh, travel on my card. So I just want to put a little bit of double sided tape underneath the ribbon to keep it in place. So just a small strip of double sided tape just either side of that knot will just stop the ribbon from sliding across the front of the card. I really love how that red shiny chili looks against that stamped word background. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and we'll pop along to rubberdance.com to check out all the lovely stamps that Bibby has on offer including this set which was hot 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 and I'll be bringing you more card tutorials using this stamp set very soon. I've really had no problems whatsoever coming up with lots of designs because this is such a versatile set. Lots of chilies and lots of phrases to play with. So stay tuned for the links at the end of the video where I'll show you how to get back to my blog for the cutting guide and the link to rubberdance.com should you wish to pay them a visit and I really hope that you do. I will also share with you other links to fun cards made using rubber dance stamps. Lots of techniques and lots of gorgeous stamps. So until next time don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like my videos, press the like button, press the share button and I look forward to creating with you again soon. Thank you for watching.